keep to myself. This is Microsoft Store, and it is a bad app store, for two reasons. First it has amazingly awful app recommendations, so you can't find anything useful, and second, it is extremely slow. But for now, I only care to talk about the navigation design. So, on homepage we have various apps grouped in categories, but mostly it is all about gaming. On top we have the navigation menu. And also we have the back button, that always navigates us to the previous visited page. When we enter inside a category we get some filtering, and by the way, I have opened a request for only displaying open source apps, but I don't see it happening. On top right we have the application main menu, plus the notifications. Inside some pages like downloads, we also get a left sidebar with more navigation options. And last but not least, we have the search input. And look how beautiful this app looks, without doing really anything astonishing. Everything's simple and pretty. If we scale the window a bit, then the menu is getting a more button, with the additional items. That's basically standard fluent design language. And the same happens with filters drop down boxes. If we scale it a little bit more, then we get a drawer menu, that I personally like it more than GNOME full width menus on phone mode. As you can see, nothing extraordinary is happening, everything works as expected. Actually, an app store is the easiest possible app to design. Basically you have a grid with apps, some categories, a back button, a main menu for updates etc, and a very typical responsive mode, and that's pretty much all. Oh, and both Plasma and GNOME should have related apps on their stores. It is the most useful thing. And that is Discover Home Page, and I really don't know what to describe here. That's exactly why I showed you MS Store before, so it won't be necessary to say anything. Okay, I will say a few things, and I will start from this heroic navigation menu, with the epic submenus. Just watch! Give me a second to scale the app, and now imagine someone having such navigation on a phone. I can already picture my friend, that she isn't the most calm person in the planet, getting nuts and throw the phone on floor with full velocity. And moreover, imagine the phone costs $2000. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't even need to imagine that. I forgot. Fun aside, and reality inside, Discover is a pretty bad app by design, but the reason I uploaded this video, is to show you a serious issue with Kirigami design in general. So let's get inside an app, for example Krita. What's happening is that we get an extra panel for a god knows why, and so, we now have a two panels navigation. Someone will say it is faster, but in reality it is simply confusing, because if we scale the window the panel is disappearing, and all those don't help memory and fast interaction. And then, there is one more problem, because now KDE developers have to work on two different layouts. And I'm asking you, how the hell we go back? And that design flaw affects more apps like settings, that again it has lots of submenus and a two panels navigation depending the size. And I'm using Plasma a lot, and this thing is something I can't never get used to. On KDE Human Interface Guidelines this pattern is called Column Based Navigation, and I'm really failing to understand this bad design on a such new framework. By the way, I think I have seen it on a Lisa Music app before, but it is gone now, so maybe they will drop it from everywhere at some point. 